God bless you, family. Happy day after Thanksgiving. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, as we enter our weekend, you know, spiritual warfare has been really strong for a lot of us. Um, I would say for myself, like the past year or so, I felt that it's ratcheted up um, and manifests in different ways. That's a, a whole lot of words about how that happens, but we all experience it in different ways. Um, it's troubling, but it's also, it's a good indication that, you know, we have the devil's attention because when we strive after Jesus, uh, it puts a target on our back, right? And, um, and he, he wants to slow up our walk and everything. Whereas those who aren't striving, the Lord or the devil is probably just, you know, leaving be. Um, he's not paying much attention to them. And it's crazy. Last night as I was sleeping, I had this, this, um, this, it felt like spiritual warfare during my dream where I can't really exactly recall what it was, but I felt like there was something wicked that was like nearby either coming at me or just in the vicinity. And I think I was trying to cry out and I was, I feel like I was trying to say like in Jesus name, like knowing it has power, the name of Jesus has power. I couldn't get it out. You know how it is when you're, when you're in a, in a nightmare uh, or you know, spiritual warfare, maybe some of these nightmares is a, a form of spiritual warfare. But anyways, Kim had said that, it, that I call, I had been kind of like crying out a couple times at night and she kind of touched my arm and then it chilled me out and I was okay. But it was distressing and I feel like I had another dream that was distressing and I don't ever dream. So it was just, um, and when she mentioned that to me, um, like, did you have a bad dream or something last night? I was like thinking, um, you know, you kind of disoriented first thing in the morning, but then I recalled it. So anyways, um, and I've seen, yeah, I've seen other people um, in the comments or um, on different videos also just talking about this. And we get weary, we get exhausted, we get frustrated by this. Um, it's ratcheting up, right? <clears throat> And it's purposeful. It's going to keep us strong to strive and to finish well. But um, it's crazy. There's so much going on already. And then you add something like these kind of like spiritual attacks within your dreams where you can't even fully, in Jesus' name, get away. Like, yeah, I could barely, that's like, yeah, you know, you couldn't even get your voice made out. Um, it's really tough. But you know what? It's, it's, it's good because it's refining. I think it's making us stronger. Um, we're just doing those push-ups, those extra sets and reps when we're already fatigued and thinking we're done, but we can do more. And that's my sense. That's what I feel is, is happening. The Lord is just like five more, you know, repetitions. And then we get to number four and you think like, I can't even do one more. And then he's like, and another five more, you know, you just keep going. It makes me think of like, like back in high school sports and stuff when you're doing, you know, two a day football, um, practices and you're doing 100 yard sprints and then you just keep doing that and it's like what I didn't think I could do like one or two of these at the end of practice and you're doing like 10 of them and it feels like that so uh, it's purposeful and it's for our good God's word tells us right I wanted to encourage you guys from Romans 8 this came on my spirit then I'll just close wrap up with uh, this word of encouragement for us tonight Starting at verse 31, what shall we then say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Oh, that's pretty good. If God is for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things, not many things, not some things, all things we are well provided for? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemns? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, the scripture is so important, as it is written, 
for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. And we feel like it sometimes, right? Like it doesn't stop, it keeps coming. But the good news, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, through Jesus' love for us. To be a conqueror is great, we'll take it. But he's saying we're more than that. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, <clears throat> nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You hear that litany of anything and everything that could come against you, even spiritual things, angels, which could be the fallen ones too, which is the fallen ones because the good ones aren't going to come against us, nor principalities, those things in the heavenly realm, uh, those powers, nor powers, nor things present, nothing right now, nothing to come. We're in the birth pangs. It's only going to ramp up and ratchet up and get more. So even those things to come, nope, not even those things, nor height, um, <clears throat> not, nor depth, nor any other creature, nothing created. So, you know, these, these devils in positions of power, these created men and the demons they worship, None of these created things can, can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So we're being slaughtered all the day long. But in all these things, remember, we're more than conquerors. You might not feel it. You might not see it. But God's word tells us that we are. So we're going to believe on that. <clears throat> and according to our faith, it shall be done. So if you believe in this just a little bit, you know, you might not get as strong a breakthrough or blessing or direction as you might need. But if you say, Lord, I'm hurting. I, I don't see any even good trajectory. I don't feel good, but I know what your word says. I read your word. I spend time with you and you say nothing can come against me that I'm more than a conqueror, even though I'm getting, <clears throat> uh, we're getting killed all day long. That the battles are coming against us all day long, but we shall, we shall overcome it. We shall rise above the waves. God's word says it. So that's from Romans 8. And let that bless you and speak to you guys profoundly today. Spiritual warfare is strong. Maybe incorporate some fasting. That can help. Um, but definitely be uh, walking in obedience very tight in your walk. Um, in your mind, in your thoughts, I've been getting a lot of arrows, um, spiritual warfare in my thoughts. <clears throat> Sometimes the devil is stirring up old remembrances from before I was saved. Um, different things like that. So we know the devil will use many different tactics. But uh, yeah, stay, stay in that scripture, stay in prayer, stay repenting, living a life of repentance and confessing sin as it comes up. Keep those short accounts with the Lord and it's going to be all good. He's going to he's gonna leave the path for us. He's going to hack it down as if with a machete, making the path clear. And we'll just walk behind him in faith. And uh, he will do it for us, whatever we need. His word directs us. It's the blueprint. It's the cheat code. And it's available. So I love you guys. I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for the freedom of speech where we can share God's word still until we can't anymore. Until... Maybe more things get clamped down on us. But for the time being, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you watching my video. So please hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video. And God willing, I'll see you tomorrow for another video, guys. Have a great night. Thank you for watching.